Open Project 7 is the biggest Open Project release yet. Let's take a look at what's new in Open Project 7. The most visible change when looking at Open Project 7 is certainly the header navigation. The Open Project logo is now in the center of the screen. The module selection is moved over to the right. And your personal My Page is now part of the user menu on the right as well. You can now select projects from the project drop-down on the left. You always see which project you are in by looking at the project name in the upper left corner. The work package page is the main focus of Open Project 7. You will find that the navigation on the work package page is now much more intuitive. To see additional information for any of the tasks, hover over the line and click on the info icon on the right. Alternatively, you can click on the info button on top. If you need more space to see or edit the task information, simply click on the icon on top. To get back to the previous screen, click on the arrow icon on the left. To close the split screen, click on the close icon. It is now also more intuitive to edit the columns by simply clicking on the little plus icon next to the columns. The biggest new feature is however the new timeline, which can be activated from the toolbar on top. The timeline shows the gun chart for all the work packages shown on the page. Simply use the work package filters to control what is shown in the gun chart. You can easily update the start and end date of a work package by simply dragging and dropping it in the gun chart. You can use the timeline to plan and schedule on a daily basis or you can display up to several years. Simply use the zoom buttons to select what is shown. Dependencies between work packages are now visible in the gun chart. You can create a new dependency by right-clicking on a work package and selecting whether to add a predecessor or a follower. Next, simply select the element to which you want to create a dependency. Now, when you move the element, the following elements will be updated as well. The timeline can also be saved in a query. Work packages in Open Project can have several hierarchy levels. You can display or hide them by clicking on the hierarchy icon next to the subject. Hierarchies can be collapsed or expanded. In order to optimally use the space on the work package page, you can use the Zen mode. The Zen mode hides all non-essential information and lets you focus on the work package page distraction free. Open Project supports many different work package types, for example bugs, tasks or milestones. These are typically quite different in terms of which attributes are relevant. With Open Project 7 you can configure which attributes should be shown for which types and even customize attribute groups. To do this, Go to the administration and select work package types. You can then select the type you would like to configure. Choose the tab form configuration. The 
In the form configuration, you can specify which attributes and which attribute groups are displayed for the selected type. You can rename existing attribute groups. Change the order by dragging and dropping those attribute groups. And assign additional attributes, for example custom fields, from the inactive column on the right. You can also assign attributes to other attribute groups. To choose which attributes are always shown on the work package, simply select the checkbox for the attribute. You can even deactivate attributes completely by clicking on the remove icon. Finally, save the setting. When you create a new work package in a project, you will see that the attribute configuration is applied. Together with Open Project 7, we release several new features for the Enterprise Edition and Cloud Edition. With Open Project 7, you can upload your own logo and create your own custom theme to match your organization's corporate identity. To do this, go to the administration and select Design from the side menu. You can then select the logo you want to upload. Click the Upload button to confirm. The logo is uploaded and replaces the Open Project logo. To customize the theme, simply enter the primary color, the primary color dark and the alternative color. Finally, click the Save button. You can see that the colors have been adjusted. The primary color is applied to the header section and to the menu that's currently selected. The primary color dark is applied when hovering over elements. The alternative color is used, for example, for buttons. As a user of the Enterprise Edition or Cloud Edition, you can also create multi-select custom fields. To do this, simply create a new work package custom field. Make sure you select either format list or format user. Make sure to enable the option allow multi-select and then enter the values that should be selectable. Finally, save to create the custom field. Once you activate the custom field, you can start using it. Simply create a new work package in a project. And you can see that the multi-select custom field is displayed. Next to it is a plus icon, which allows you to select multiple values at once. You can also filter by multi-select custom fields.